What's up everybody, this is Software Tester 101. I'm doing a, another video on an antivirus program. It's a vast. It is really good. I, it's, I'm currently using it. Um, it's free. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, what the scanner looks like right now. Uh, every time you start it, if it's set to do it, it won't do this and annoy you every time if you wouldn't like it will do a memory test and it does start up tests too like when you turn on your computer if you want you can cancel them or not make them do it I only have mine like do the startup test like every month but anyway for the sake of video I'm going to stop the memory test and move on this little thing that pops up every time you open the scanner part of it it tells you how to do it and it's pretty self explanatory how you do it here it, uh, you know areas to scan how to scan and run the scan that kind of stuff You'll see this if you download this. And you want to try to use it. This little button here is the uh, disk that you're going to use, the hard drives that you're going to be scanning. Click it, and you're going to have scan archive files, thorough, standard, or quick. Always do thorough. And then every time you click that, it's going to turn local drives on and off. I always click them all, or there will be no point in fully scanning unless you're just scanning a folder or something. This is to this part is for your removable media, like a CD or something. It'll scan it too. You just click that, turn it on, I don't have anything in, so I'm not going to click it and get an error. Um, scan select folders, you click this, and you just pick the areas that you would like, like my documents, and then all that stuff, like that. And this is your chest, if you click it, your um, virus chest will come up. <coughs> this down here is to download um, um, more packages like virus databases. This is to eject, obviously, like, close it, but you can just use the X. This tells you about the program. And then when, this is not the only part to it. You close this, once you're done scanning, it'll give you, like, a full report and all that stuff. When you click scan, it'll tell you, like, thorough scan, how much percent of it's, it's complete, um, how many files it's scanned, that kind of stuff. I'm just going to stop it. And then this part of it's really cool. It's the on access, on access protection control. Okay, this thing can be the sensitivity for each one of these can be set different. Like if you feel like you're a threat through email, you set that to high, and every time you like go in your mail, it's gonna scan very thoroughly. Anyway, it's got instant messaging scanner, internet mail. Network Shield, Outlook Exchange, P2P Shield, that's very useful if you're a LimeWire, any kind of P2P Shield user, or P2P Network user, uTorrent, anything like that, um, Standard Shield, Web Shield, and like I said, all these can be set to high or custom or normal, <coughs> or any of these can be turned off. If you don't use instant messaging, just turn it off. <coughs> You can do that right here, down here at the bottom here. You just hit stop provider. It's on that list down there. This is a vast antivirus, and I'm software tester 101. You're going to be able to find this download at download.com. Uh, the direct download link will be in the description box. It's free. I advise you to go out and download it. Thanks for watching. Bye.